It is Sunday, a few days before uh, All Saints and All Souls, and I thought I'd better come on here and address where I've been for the past couple of uh, months, <laughs> actually. Well, I guess I did publish a video. I'm looking here at my uh, recent videos uploaded, and the last one I did was a repairing of a, uh, a book. But I've actually been on the road. I took a 2,000-mile trip from here at the monastery, which is in New Mexico, all the way up to Wyoming, and then over to Moab. Um, I'm waiting on my feed down here to load so I can catch anyone who says anything. Uh, I don't think there's anyone on here watching live at the moment, but that's okay because you can, people can watch this later. But, so, what's going on at the monastery? What's going on here uh, with me and where am I? So, this is, this is my actual office. The last couple of live updates and the live uh, broadcasts have been from one of our uh, hermitages. And now I'm back up here at the monastery and this is part of my office. This is this table here is where I do a lot of my work uh, tomorrow, actually. Let me make sure my head isn't being chopped off because it looks like it is. That's not going to help. Let me move my camera out. Ah, there we go. It is. I am all there. Okay, good. Hey, Nick. I see you down there. It looks like everything's working fine. It looks like you can go. Oh, man, the quality looks great. But anyway, so we're in my, um, my actual office. Over here in front of me is the computer where I do my editing. Uh, this is some of my tools. I have more tools over here, um, a small bookshelf, and this is where I do my electronics. So we've got some really cool stuff coming because now that it's winter, uh, the farm work is slowly uh, dying off. Um, I, I want to get into some of the stuff that you haven't seen, like the Arduino. So I do a lot of programming with Arduinos. Uh, the Arduino is what controls our, um, helps us measure our water here at the monastery, so I did the programming to do that and all that stuff. It would be kind of neat to share that with you now that I have time. I'm also working on the irrigation system. You've probably seen several of the videos about the irrigation system. Um, what, I have three parts. There should be like eight by now, but I haven't been videoing. It's actually hard to video and do the work here. Um, I'm not one that likes carrying around my phone, so I've kind of just not been recording stuff. Uh, it's easier for me to do studio stuff where everything's set up and I can just grab something and show it to you. But I'm going to try to work on that a little bit more. It's kind of funny, you know, talking to your camera and there's no one around. Hey, how you doing? Um, no one's here. So it's one of those things when you're doing this type of video. Uh, I just want to say that the monastery is praying for you all, just as I know you all are praying for us. It's part of what we do here at the monastery. Um, I'm hoping to get some talks in just people, other monks to talk about our life and things like that. But for now, let's talk about what's happening and where have I been. As I said at the beginning of this, this video, um, I have been on a very long trip. When I say long, I mean distance-wise. I was only going for about three and a half weeks. So what I did is I left here and went to go stay at a friend's cabin, and there I was working on a talk uh, for a convention in Moab, Moab, Utah. But before I did that, my ultimate goal was to make it all the way up to Wyoming and then up to Buffalo, Wyoming. So that's really, really close to, um, what is that, Montana, I think. Um, so I was really doing a lot of driving. So I drove over to close to the edge of Colorado. I'm not going to mention where it is. I'll just say Telluride, but that's not where I was exactly. But I drove over to Telluride, stayed with some friends there. Uh, we did some, uh, I did some work there in their cabin and things like that. It's always neat to hang out with them. And then from there, I drove all the way up to a place near Denver. I think it's called Greeley. There's a friend of the monastery there. We did some hiking up in the Rocky Mountains. Now I'm going to produce a video. It'll be kind of boring. So that's one of the reasons I'm not doing it right now is that I got to find some way of taking all the videos and slides and everything I did and I have to narrate it. Something I don't really like doing is narrating a video. I usually like to do the video and talk in it, but uh, this will be new. So I got a lot of footage, a lot of photos. They're very beautiful. We hiked in the Rockies near Greeley. I think it's Essie's estate. And then you can go into the Rocky Mountains from there. Uh, we saw all kinds of wildlife. It was just a beautiful little hike. And I thank my dear friend for allowing me to stay with her and then uh, drive on up to Wheatland. 
um, Wyoming. And there in Wheatland, I was able to stay at a ranch, which was awesome. I've never stayed at a ranch. Uh, one of my dreams was to see those big pivot irrigation systems. I wanted to see how they work, really get into it and see how they work. We've all seen them. They make those big circles when you look at Google Maps. Big circle. But how do they work? Well, I now know, and it's so awesome. Um, will I build one? I don't know. Um, a miniature one would be kind of cool, but it would go in front of the church, and I really don't think I would want a big structure like that in front of the church. So I'm going to think about it. I may just build a small one just because they're cool to build, uh, and I'll document that and, and all that. But, uh, yeah, it's really neat to see that. But there were other types of irrigation systems. So... Um, we won't, I won't get into that right now, but I was able to stay with them. They have several heads of cattle, they have sheep, they have goats and all kinds of things like that. So that was really cool. Then I drove on up to Buffalo where I stayed uh, just one night with some wonderful people who own a mill there. And again, I will do a video on that. Um, it'll be part of the big video of this whole trip. From there, I then drove back to Wheatland uh, and then drove from Wheatland and stayed with another good friend of our monastery in Denver where um, she took me to show me her church where they do needlepoint. Uh, a lot of the, in fact, I would say most of the fabric parts of the church, that is the kneelers, the, the seats and things like that, are all done in needlepoint. They've been doing this for how many, I don't know how many years. It's a beautiful little church. They were Anglican or what do they call it, Episcopal here. And obviously that's, that's a little bit different. Um, but beautiful church. She comes here to the monastery often. In fact, I think she's been coming here for, I know, since the 90s. So really good friend of the church here. Uh, from there, <clears throat> I drove back to our my friend's cabin. And then from the cabin, I drove up to Moab, where I then gave a, uh, a quick, but I think useful talk on how, how the process of taking raw wool, working with it, cleaning it and sending it through the to a mill and then I gave them a quick tour of a mill virtually obviously through pictures and things. Now you all can see that tour kind of, um, at least one of the tours I took because I did a video on that. Mora, uh, New Mexico, I did a tour of their, their mill and then of course I took a tour of um, Mountain Meadows in Wyoming. So check that website out, Mount, Mountain Meadows I think it is in Wyoming, and I'm pretty sure you can find a lot about their mill there. Uh, they do produce a CD, I think you can buy it on the gift shop, and they give you this wonderful tour from, I think it's called From Sheep to something. I have to look it up. Too bad I don't have it here. So this was kind of an off-the-cuff type of um, uh, production here today. Uh, I knew that I needed to uh, at least update you all what's going on, so I don't have a lot of stuff other than this wonderful clear table here. And uh, I don't see too much activity happening here. I see Nick Lee is still hanging out here. So thanks again, Nick. Um, I'm hoping to be in your area probably uh, next year in the fall, but it'll be for a short trip. Um, I got to visit Father David in, um, uh, what is it, uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. So I might as well come on down to Alabama. Um, what else was going on here? Oh, well, Moab. I've been to Moab probably, what, four years ago. Um, if the elders were here, they could chime in and tell me. But I'm pretty sure it was four years ago, maybe five. I think it was 2018. That place has changed quite a bit. You know, they had some really serious flooding there, so I was able to see a lot of the uh, leftover of that flooding that was uh, that happened early in the summer. Um, there's quite a bit of sand and mud in the streets, but it looks like they've recovered most of the downtown. Uh, the conference that I was at was before you got to the main part of Moab at an arena. Um, and I'm hoping I can do a quick little video also on that, um, that whole conference because it was really useful. It was about Chiro sheep, but my talk was about uh, finding a mill, what you need to do before you send your, your wool off to a mill, some of the things that these mills are looking for, things like minimum uh, weight and things like that, and a whole bunch of other stuff, and then uh, branding, what you should do when it comes to branding, and a lot of people think that branding is going off and getting some guy to, or lady, <laughs> to uh, make a logo for you and all that, but it could be as simple as just coming up with a name for your, um, your wool and um, your yarn in this case, and then just making a wrapper going around your yarn, so 
getting there, starting somewhere is always important in getting that name. But we won't talk about that right now. <laughs> if, if you're interested in hearing some of the ways I've done my branding with my candle shop that I used to have at St. Bernard and things like that, just let me know in the comments and I'll be glad to make a video about uh, what I did. Um, I, I wish I could show you examples right now, but I'm not set up. I just got into this office. Um, I've been in here for many, many years, but I just got in here with my lights and um, all the stuff behind me and all that, so this is a usable spot now. So I don't have my multiple monitors and video switching and all that stuff set up, but that's something to look forward to. We're going to increase the video quality, hopefully quite a bit, with uh, video switches and things like that, kind of like what I did at the, um, the hobby hour, for those who remember that. Um, it was on Ustream. <laughs> you probably haven't heard of that, but I think um, IBM has taken over Ustream now, so it's not like this uh, platform that you can just use, but uh, Ustream was really cool back in the day. Um, I really enjoyed doing it. We were using, what, VHS cameras, I, I call it VHS cameras, but they're analog cameras uh, that only displayed in something less than standard resolution. I forgot what it was, but it's like 520 by whatever. It used the old coax cables, but I was using S-Video, so I was getting a higher um, contrast, I guess, with the S-Video, but it was kind of cool. It had the video switchers. In fact, Nick Lee uh, ran the video switchers. It was pretty cool. Um, I really enjoyed that time. So we're bringing that back because that's, that's such a big thing. I love doing the live stuff. So, and it'll be exciting to get some of the other monks in and have them do some sit-downs or uh, fireplace talks or something like that. Uh, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Uh, so what's, what else we got going on? Um, I got a, some, uh, in fact, today I was going to start a really big project. Uh, I need to make a kiosk for our lobby. And in that kiosk, people can uh, go to a link, which will be on the touch screen, and they can then type in their name and information if they want to receive newsletters and things like that from us. But the most important part is that they'll be able to click another link on this kiosk and it will take them to photos that different monks have made. Yeah, it will feature some of my photos, but I'm trying to encourage other monks to go out, take photos, and we can put it on this little kiosk and maybe even get them printed onto like postcards and, and things like that that we sell in the gift shop. So that's gonna be really cool. And then the kiosks will have the usual kiosk types of things, quick history, uh, some other stuff, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out as it goes, but I'm gonna program all that myself. So I'm gonna take you along with me as I do this. And I think that would be exciting so you can see some of the other stuff that I've never done videos on. Um, I'm watching other people who do this type of content so I can make it a little bit more exciting because it can get very boring uh, watching someone sit here and type in code. So we're going to keep that part short, but I'll explain it for those who are interested in that type of thing. Um, at some point, I'll probably have to make a separate YouTube channel, like Desert Monk Technical, uh, which would be all the technical stuff, so I don't weigh, it, weigh this channel down with all that stuff. And then I may have to make another separate channel for shorts, because there are times that I would like to make one minute videos of what's happening now. And then I can produce more of them without having to do a fully edited video. And then it won't, again, blog down or log down or whatever you want to call it, bog down this channel with a bunch of short videos. Because I actually don't like the short content. Um, and I guess I should say I don't like the short contents that are like 10 seconds long. Um, thank you, Instagram, for doing that. <laughs> you see something that's just interesting on Instagram and it's like, what, 10 seconds long? You want to see, well, what's the outcome? Or how did this person get into this particular? It's all about the story, isn't it? Uh, and that's what this channel is. It's about the story. We're, we're not going to just show little bits and pieces. I want to tell the story from the beginning to the end. And I think the last video, full video I did, kind of explains that. I have this wonderful book that I use mm, weekly, not daily, but it is, was falling apart. You know, without me saying anything, you could tell. I mean, obviously, the book was falling apart. But at the end, I had a usable book again. So it's all about telling a story. Um, quickly here at the monastery, let me check my time. We're getting close to prayers. It is 5.31 right now. Prayers starts at 5.45. So this will be a shorter uh, live video than I would like, but that's okay. Um, 
And I may actually show you around my office real quick, and then that'll be the end of that video. But let's see, what's happening here at the monastery? Uh, we're getting close to, as I mentioned, all saints, all souls. Um, it will be a simple mass because we have what they call Desert Day, the Saturday, this Friday. Every first Friday, we have a time when all the monks can can go by themselves and pray, and they're not. We don't have to keep the regular schedule, so it's a really cool time. I usually like going across the river and just going hiking. Um, now that I have a tent, which I'll have to explain that later in my 2,000 mile trip video, whenever that comes out. But I now have a nice little tent, and I could actually take that across the river, camp out over there, cook. It'll be kind of neat. I'm really looking forward to doing that. I may do that. Uh, I think it's supposed to be a nice sunny day this Friday. We'll see. Weather changes quickly. Um, <laughs> it wasn't supposed to do any raining this week, and now it's going to rain, uh, which is important because we're working on our roof. We're getting our roof redone. So let's see if we can let's see if we can make it. Um, what else is going on here? Um, there's a lot, but I didn't make any notes, so I'm just trying to think here, and I don't want to have dead time. So you're about to hear me think. Is that okay? <laughs> Let me look at my uh, what's going on here. Oh. Uh, Hello, I have friends from Chicago here watching. Um, of course, Nick from Alabama. Um, anybody else, just say, just give me the state. Don't give me the whole, you know, where you're from. And I'll say hello to you, too. Um, come on now, what else is going on here at the monastery that's, that's interesting that I can show? Okay, so um, let's see. What am I doing this week? That's a good place to start. Uh, this week, we're working on the roof. We're getting that redone. I had to help remove all of our old solar panels off the roof and workers are coming in to redo that roof because it was leaking. It's really, really old. It's made of foam. So that's a big project that's happening. I'm hoping I would only be need on mon needed on Monday. I need to go up and do some acetylene torching to some metal stuff that needs to get off the roof. Um, so once that's done, that should free me up to do uh, stuff indoors. However, I think I need to roll up the irrigation pipes and things like that, so I know i got to do that. Don't think I'll do a video on that. If I do, it'll be very, very short, because that would be very boring, too. So, uh, one of the things I'm trying to work on is figure out how to make my videos a little bit more exciting with, without making them fake, because that's the whole idea of my, my channel, is to show you what life is like without doing any acting and stuff. So, uh, sometimes it, there are contents that I'd like to put on, but I'm like, this is going to be boring. Who wants to watch that? So this is one of those things where I'm, I'm saying, how do you like this? I need that type of feedback. It's kind of neat to, to get people's opinion on my video because it's not like a lot of the other people's videos. Um, I really don't like doing the talking head thing where I'm sitting here speaking, but um, you know, it's, it's important just like this video is. Uh, later on this month, or should I say, say next month because it's going to be November, uh, we're moving into um, Thanksgiving, I'm cooking that day, so I may do a video. I think I will do a video, actually, on that. I'm not sure what we're cooking. Obviously, turkey. <laughs> um, I may try to smoke it this year. It'll be kind of neat. Um, uh, there won't be me going out to get a tree this year because I'm doing something that some people wouldn't like, and that's I'm putting up a fake tree. Um, yeah, so uh, I don't like cutting trees down. Um, even now if we were growing the trees it wouldn't be a big deal uh, we do have five trees I could use this year but I think it'll be better if I go ahead and move to the fake trees one in the church and one in the um, refectory and I think they'll be beautiful if actually I know they'll be beautiful I really spent a lot of time in fact the whole year before I even bought them because I wanted to really make sure that they'll be okay but it's really good we don't need to be cutting trees down even if they are on our property and I waste a lot of time. But what I will do this year is I got to build an activity scene. Hold on. This is our bell. I don't know if you can hear it, but let's give it a second here. It may not be too loud. Um, I can't monitor the audio, so. Anyway, I will be building the activity scene. If you've seen some of the pictures on Instagram of what the activity scene looks like, it's not just this two walls and a roof. It's a really beautiful thing, and I want to make it out of Adobe this year because I need to reflect the uh, New Mexican feel that we have of all the adobe. So it's gonna be a very, very New Mexican looking, um, I hope, New Mexican looking nativity scene. Um, everything that goes in it is from outdoors. So the dirt, the sand, the rocks, even the, the fake trees, 
uh, the logs, everything is natural. I don't um, have anything that is fake in it. It's all natural. So that'll be the that'll be one of the things I'll do. Uh, what else is going to happen? Not too much. Um, you'll just have to watch and see what what I produce between now and uh, Christmas. I will probably take a break between Christmas and um, the middle of January. But um, I also can't forget, I've been weaving. <laughs> and I haven't done any weaving videos in a while. Um, and that's actually, there's a purpose for that. Uh, I'm having some issues with some yarn. Um, the main thing is, is that if I make a blanket, I've eaten up tons of yarn. And I want to be able to produce a lot of blankets and things because people like them. So I've been playing around with different yarns that work together. Some yarns, if you cross them, when you make your... Uh, your warp, what they call, and then you move the yarns, they start to tie each other. I, I, I guess the word would be uh, they tend to um, felt together, and that's a problem because I need to do this cross a lot when I'm preparing the warp. So if it's going to do that, that kind of kills the, um, the whole blanket thing right now. So uh, I'm working on that, and I'm hoping to get some videos out two weeks from now. Uh, I'll probably do a few live videos from the weaving room so you can just kind of see what I'm doing. And then in between that, I'll be producing some videos of me weaving. Um, and then we'll start selling weavings again on Instagram. I know people have been asking. So Instagram is where you can find um, uh, a lot of my weaving. And it's the Desert Monk on Instagram. So go there and you can find it. If you're like one of the first ones to say, I want this, even if it's on the loom, uh, you're probably the one that's going to get it first. Um, if it's not something that I'm going to sell, I'll make sure I put it on there right at the beginning. This isn't for sale. Uh, that means it's been commissioned already. Uh, let me look down at the comments because I'm going to have to go here in about three minutes. Hello, let's see here, South Carolina. Hello, South Carolina. Let's see here. Um, yeah, so one of the things I haven't mentioned, um, well, I kind of did, I guess, was the flooding and the... Uh, in the refectory, kitchen, guest area, and hallway. That's fine, you can't even tell anything happened. It was a miracle that there was no damage. Uh, there's a few chips off the wall here and there because we have adobe walls, but I think we moved and acted so quickly and had so much help, we were able to get that moisture away from everything. So um, yeah, you can't tell. I mean, I can tell something happened because along the edge of the walls, you can still see that um, not the line where the water was, but you can still see mud because some of the adobe did come down. And once it gets into brick, it is almost impossible to get it out of brick. Uh, so what I'll have to do is go back with a brush and brush it loose when it's dry and then suck that up. And then I can come back and mop it up. So other than that, yeah, you can't even tell anything happened. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, go back into my videos and my video history and you should see something about the flood that happened here. Um, never in my life have <laughs> seen anything like that. It was just coming over a wall, so much water coming over the wall. And it all happened because of hell. <clears throat> we had a lot of hell. It built up to about four to five feet high. I know it's hard to believe, but just imagine it coming down a mountain as a river, getting to a park where there's supposed to be a pipe, and then all that hell just starts piling up. So then it gets up to five feet. In fact, it was so much hell, it was 70 or 80 degrees outside, in the ditch where the, uh, the the pipe was, it was like 50 or 40 degrees, and it stayed that way all day while we were trying to blast it out of there with a, with a uh, fire hose. So everything's fine. Um, all the monks are fine. Father Bernard's okay. For those who know Father Bernard, um, he's just weak. He is, uh, but he's doing okay. Um, most of you probably have known by now. Let me see, because this is kind of an important part, and this is the last thing I'm gonna do here is that I'm now taking care of the sheep. Um, I'm taking care of the the, uh, the pastures, meaning that I'm doing the fertilizing and, and managing all that stuff. Uh, anything that has to do with the sheep, I'm now the main person. Because a dear friend of mine decided that um, the monastery life here, or at least the monastery life for him, was not the thing for him. So uh, it was kind of a surprise, and that's one of the reasons I stepped back from doing videos and only produce these small videos. And it's still hard for me to produce videos even today because he was like the right hand 
um, man for me. He was he was he was he was part of part of me. Um, he got me into the weaving and all this stuff. Um, I hate that he left, but I had to move on. Um, and moving on also meant that the things that I liked doing was going to be set aside. And doing these videos for you all was part of it. So uh, I'm still working on that. It's it's still a hard thing to um, to want to do videos uh, just because it's just so much stuff now that I'm having to do. But I think that's going to be fine. Uh, there's a lot of people that have been praying for me. I've been praying for him. And um, I think we're going to move forward. And we're going to be just fine. Um, so that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, you better ask them now because I have like two minutes and need to go. I know I said that three minutes ago, but just ignore that. Who's, who's keeping track? It is 4.42. I need to be there at 4.45, so I'm going to have to go. Um, okay. I don't see any questions, so I'm going to say God bless you all. Have a great All Souls and a... How about this? Let's, 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 let's back that up a little bit. Have a great All Saints first and a wonderful... Also, to remember those who've passed in your family, those you don't know who've passed, and please keep our monks and those who've passed in your prayers. God bless. Here's a little tour of the uh, office, by the way. So there's my computer. And the big axe. And on this side, my light door and that's the next that's for the kiosk so that's it see you later let me see if i can figure out how to cut this off here